Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, and thank you very much again for joining us for another Solowins briefing in 2020. My name is John O'Callaghan, uh, I look after international product marketing for Solowins, and today I'm delighted to be joined by my eminent colleague, Michal O'Halpine. How are you, Michal? I'm great, John. Thanks for I having me on. on. I added in the O Halpine there, because... Uh, I know, Asquelga. Asquelga, there you go. Um, Okay, so if you've got any questions, please feel free to use the Q&A chat and send it through to us during the course of the event, and uh, we will do our best to answer those. Uh, if you've got any feedback, uh, best place to give us feedback is to jump on to the SolarWinds online community called THWAC. And if you're using our products and uh, you want to get information or you want to uh, maybe request a feature, you can do that on the THWAC platform. And also, of course, engage with over 150,000 other people uh, who engage on that platform on a regular basis. If you would like a one-to-one -one demonstration of any of the technologies we're going to talk about, just get in touch with us, let us know, and we can arrange one at a time suitable for you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about this topic, which is extending network management with integrated log analysis. And we're going to take it a little bit further as well, but we're going to talk a little bit about uh, our SIEM solution as well. First of all, I just want to kind of go through a couple of the challenges that organizations face in relation to monitoring and management and so on. Um, and this was a fairly interesting piece of research that was done, uh, which basically tells us that just on the network side of things, that uh, larger enterprises, uh, a lot of them, have somewhere between 8 and 25 tools uh, to monitor just the network. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of complexity in there, and if these tools aren't talking to each other, uh, typically it's difficult then to see the woods from the trees, uh, and that can cause uh, more problems than they can fix. Uh, if there's any outages, of course, and any degradation of services, uh, you can have these uh, impacts, uh, starting off with operational impacts, of course, where you may have to shift some resources around to fix a problem, moving on then into a more severe impact of financial impacts or service impact uh, in you know, public sector environments, for example. Uh, and then thirdly, of course, you have the highest impact of all, which is reputational impacts if there's an extended outage or an extended problem with an application or a website or whatever the case might be. Um, for IT teams, of course, uh, you know, a lot of time can be taken up, spent dealing with these issues. Uh, in this case, research is telling us that about 29% of IT teams' bandwidth is spent dealing with these issues, and the associated average cost of that, <coughs> excuse me, on an annual basis is 2.5 million. Sorry, I just followed some tea. Okay. Um, and of course, what we're here to do is to try and help uh, reduce the costs and help people streamline uh, solutions and so on. And the first thing you can do is consolidate. So going back to that challenge of multiple tools, you know, between 8 and 25, uh, maybe SMBs have a fewer number, but um, still a challenge. So one thing we'd like to talk to organizations about is consolidation, uh, where we can help you to reduce the number of licenses, uh, the number of subscriptions you have maybe, um, streamline renewals, support, training. Uh, and, of course, another big one is kind of vendor reduction, and contract management, and so on. So SolarWinds can help you to do that. We can help you to automate processes as well in terms of monitoring, alerting, and service management, uh, help you to speed up the resolution times. Um, a lot of our products now are including anomaly detection as well, uh, which will allow you to identify issues more quickly uh, and to understand when an issue really is a problem as opposed to uh, just a normal event that may have occurred. Uh, of course, uh, we'll talk a little bit about security rules as well today in the uh, log of an event manager or security event manager, as it's now called. Um, optimization is also a big area, so we want to help organizations to optimize existing resources uh, and to avoid kind of having to spend or overspend on extra hardware that they may not need. So lots of solutions uh, available in that space as well. Um, and then, of course, process efficiencies, uh, helping people to really have that integrated closed loop from the monitoring through analysis, alerting, response, reporting, and then kind of resetting environments as well. And soft benefits, of course, are important as well for IT teams to collaborate uh, more closely together. Um, so if we can help to consolidate organizations down to a single pane of glass for their IT operations management, then of course you have uh, the different teams in IT, be that network, systems, database, applications, or whatever, uh, all working through the same dashboards, having common languages, and of course having centralized training offerings as well that we can provide. And then the big one is things like cost uh, management or cost avoidance, um, and this is typically where the big numbers will occur. Um, some recent studies uh, kind of telling us that it takes 23 minutes on average to refocus a workforce, which is interesting. Uh, and then earlier research from 2014, Gartner had um, a cost of $5,600 per minute 
uh, of downtime, which is uh, quite significant. And 98% of organizations saying that one hour of downtime is costing over $100,000. So any outage is a, is a problem. Um, and when it starts you know, provide, hitting the cost or the bottom line of an organization, then that can uh, be a bigger issue, of course. Um, and of course, the downtime can occur in the application itself, the website, databases, infrastructure, networks. Uh, and this, of course, is where uh, the log management side of things becomes uh, critical to identify you know, what went wrong, where and when. So how can we help? Um, so SolarWinds has a comprehensive IT operations management portfolio. Uh, we have six pillars within that. At the top there, you can see service management. So we can streamline processes and send alert information into our service manager. Uh, we've also integration into things like ServiceNow. And of course, service management includes all types of requests. It's just not necessarily just alerts from systems. It could be HR requests. It could be financial requests, you know, procurement, whatever the case might be uh, in there as well. Um, today, we'll talk around log management uh, in the Orion platform as well. And Orion, of course, has a whole bunch of solutions that all integrate together to be able to help you to monitor, analyze, and manage application performance, database performance, infrastructure, uh, and network. And one of the other products we look at today is Security Event Manager, which is sitting in our IT security portfolio, which you can see there on the right-hand side of the portfolio. Um, so SolarWinds offering to the marketplace, you know, the most complete IT operations management offering in the market, really. Uh, these aren't products. These are just capabilities, a bit of a word chart. Um, so if you want to screenshot this and load up, uh, you can do that. Um, but basically, these are the, some of the capabilities that we have in each of these pillars. And on the right-hand side, of course, it's not just the products. It's also a lot of the services that we offer uh, and support that we can provide you as well uh, in, in, in the marketplace. So with that, um, let's have a look at um, some of the products. Uh, first one, uh, log analyzer, log, anal log analysis within the Orion platform. So Michal, you're very familiar with this. Obviously, you're kind of doing, using it on a, probably a daily basis at this stage. So what's the quick 60-second uh, overview of log analyzer and what can it do? What, you know, what's the benefit of the product? Hey, John. Yeah, very good question. Essentially, the log analyzer was built to replace the old syslog and trap functionality we had in the Orion platform years ago. So we had your main web console, but then you had two separate windows executables to view logs to put rules in place. So we wanted to take that functionality and bring it into the web console. The whole idea is if you're troubleshooting network performance, if you're troubleshooting application or infrastructure performance, with products like NPM or SAM or, or Virtualization Manager. Instead of having different screens open, can we give you all of that log data alongside your pooled performance data? So if you're looking at CPU load, if you're looking at the amount of users connected into a website, throughput on a, a storage array, and you also see logs that may be associated with those all in one console. So that's really what we're trying to do here. It's, it's to give log information from a troubleshooting perspective as opposed to a security perspective. And there's a whole bunch of ways we can collect logs here, right? So I can, you know, see here there's Windows events, VMware events. Exactly. We started off firstly with syslog and trap functionality, and then we added in supports for Windows events using the same agent we have for SAM um, that we have for the security uh, configura server configuration monitor. We can also pick up events from VMware. So if you have the virtualization manager deployed, we can now start to pull in VMware events as well. So again, let's look at performance data, let's look at log data. You know, who's logging onto the systems around the same times that these events are occurring? Are we seeing any uh, failure events from a polling perspective versus from a log perspective? What's going on in those? Cool. And then one of the new kind of highlights on the latest version, uh, 2020.2, uh, is a new log source as well. So we can now ingest and visualize data from flat files, which is uh, something that was requested as well. Exactly. Uh, a lot of people have custom applications out there that might be writing into into text files. So with this, we can keep track of those changes as they're occurring. We can actually see, hey, you've got five new lines. These are the entries in each one, and let's search based on some of the text within those. So again, a big common, a common feature request on those. Yeah, cool. So Log Analyzer, just to be clear, is the Orion platform product. Um, so if you're already using Network Performance Monitor or Server and Application Monitor or Virtualization Manager, whatever, um, you can add Log Analyzer into your system, into your Orion uh, instance. And uh, it's licensed by NodeCount, so nice and simple to, to 
uh, you know, figure out how many, what type of license you need. Just count up the number of nodes that you want to collect and analyze logs from, and there you go. Another product we look at is uh, outside of the Orion platform. It's called uh, Security Event Manager. It's within our IT security portfolio. Uh, and Mike, Michal, this is more of a kind of a scene solution, right? Exactly. Um, previously, this was called the Log and Event Manager. So sometimes people might get a little bit confused between Log Analyzer and SEM. But this is a scene product. And it's, it's a virtualized product. So it's fully self-contained, meaning you spin up a, a virtual appliance on VMware, on Hyper-V, or in the cloud. And using similar methods where we're going to use agents to pick up logs from uh, servers, we can receive syslogs and traps. But the focus here is we're looking at more security type use cases. So we're looking at longer retention periods. We're looking at correlating different types of events and doing different actions based on those. So it's not so much a day-to-day -day troubleshooting use case. What we're doing here is log consolidation and then correlations across those, taking, taking actions on those. And of course, another great feature of this product is, is it's also licensed by Node. A lot of the kind of log management solutions out there in the marketplace, uh, they're kind of charged by volume as well, Michal, so that can get very expensive very quickly, right? It, it can. It can be very hard to, to figure out in advance. With this, it's, it's very simple. If a switch is sending in logs, a firewall, a router, it's one license. If it's a server, it's one license. Doesn't matter how many different types of logs you may be getting from that server, this will just use one license. So whether it's your standard Windows, you know, system application security logs, whether it's IIS logs or Apache logs, it all counts as one exactly. device. So, so, so if you got a license for 50 nodes and they create like 900 million terabytes of logs, it doesn't matter, right? You're still going to just pay for the 50 nodes. So Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Excellent stuff. Okay. So uh, without further ado, let's move into the demo. So Michal, I'm going to give you control here. And uh, if you want to bring us through Log Analyzer and uh, Security Event Manager, that'd be cool. Okay, yeah. If if you could just make me presenter, I can't share my screen at the moment. Okay, it's just passing presenter rights to you right now. Still passing presenter rights. There we go. Have it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to start off with is the Security Event Manager. Now, at a glance, this is going to look very similar to the newer uh, modern uh, Orion dashboards. So we've made a big effort to move away from the old Flash console into a HTML5 console. So the look and feel of the various widgets is going to be very similar now if you're already using Orion. First view here is pretty self-explanatory. A nice high-level dashboard where we can see what's going on across your environment. Again, if you want to customize it, very similar to what we do in SolarWinds. We want to make it nice and simple. Customize page, add widgets. You can then say, hey, I'm interested in, uh, you know, let's look at firewall events. Create a widget. Let's now add it in. If I need to, I can resize it. I can drag it around. Makes it very simple to customize as few as you want. Now, what I'm going to focus on in particular is this events view. I'm just going to turn off the live mode for a second. So you can see as events are coming in, we're just going to update this list here. One of the big differences between SEM, so the Security Event Manager and Log Analyzer, is when we receive logs with SEM, we start to normalize that data. We start to, to break down that log into a much more granular format. So if I look at something like a web traffic event, what we'll actually see is this event is coming from a particular log type. So in this case, it's a squiddly proxy server. Um, the idea being that whether I'm receiving web events from Cisco ASA, uh, a squiddly proxy server, it doesn't really matter. We understand that for this type of web event, certain fields are always going to be there. So we're going to parse through that log we're going to say, hey, for this type of event, firstly, we believe it's a web traffic event. We have some more information on the event itself. And then for this type of event, we'll have information on things like protocols, source, machi source um, machines, destination machines. We'll have information on things like URL that was used. If I look at something like a user event, 
we'll have some different fields here. So now in this example, this is coming from a Windows security log. And we have the Windows security event ID uh, 540. Because this is a user event, we're now going to break out information on things like the accounts that were used, the domains that were involved, the authentication packages. So each event we're going to categorize and we're going to store information relevant to the fields. The whole idea is later on, if we do a search for, you know, user logons, and I can see we have logons, we have logon failures. Some of these are going to show, let's just see if we have one for, here's an example of a logon from a Unix machine. So the rationale behind that is whether you don't really care if people are logging onto Windows machines or Linux or Unix or network devices. You know, what machines are users logging onto? We're going to standardize across everything with that. On the left hand side, you can see multiple different filters. So we ship these out of the box. Again, similar to how solvents normally work. We want to give you, you know, pre built views to get you up and running so you can see the data most people want to see. But if you do want to customize these, very simple. You can take the, the filter, add in additional criteria. So I could say, let's look at my user logon, oops, typo, user logon events. I could say, let's see any user logon events as well. So and or logic. Or I could even say, let's do this for a particular user account. So it makes it very easy to customize views according to your needs. You can also look at historical data. So let's not just look at information as it's coming in. I need to go back in time. You know, what's happened in the past 10 minutes? What's happened in the past 30 days? Let's go back to, you know, March 17th. Let's look at those events that occurred. On the left-hand side, again, you can see filters. So if I'm interested in, you know, let's just look at anything from this machine, all I have to do is apply that filter. And everything else will then update around it. So the events, the uh, log types, the usernames, as I start to apply more filters, these will start to narrow down. So very fast, very simple to customize this. I can export this out to a CSV. Um, lots of options available and what we can do with this data. One of the big things we're going to look at is this concept of rules. And rules basically allow us to say, hey, this set of criteria has been matched. Let's do something. So I'm going to show a pretty detailed example here just to, to look at some of the, the power as to what we can do with this system. And this looks quite complex at first glance, but it's pretty straightforward. In this case, we're actually going to check different logs from three different machines. So the first one we might pick up from a workstation. We have a process stop event where it's one of our firewall processes. In other words, somebody has stopped McAfee.exe. And then on our domain controller, we could see maybe a failed logon account for one of our admin accounts. And then on one of our firewalls, we may see uh, TCP events, so just standard network traffic going on, in particular, source, 20, source port 25, or SMTP traffic, emails are being sent. And what we're saying here is if all of these events occur and it's the same source, machi source machine that's generating them, and they all occur in a single five-minute window, that looks to us like it could be a worm. So in this example, we could, let me just edit the rules so we have more options. In this case, on our domain controller, we're actually going to disable that Windows machine account. So we want to leave the machine running so we can do some analysis on it, we can do some forensics on it, but we want to stop it propagating across the network. We could also do other actions. We could disable users in Active Directory. We could disable networking on a machine. We could interact with various firewalls to say, hey, take this IP address, let's block this now in the firewall. And obviously the most common things people want to do, let's send an email. 
maybe we have SolarWinds, we have we have NPM, we have SAM, we have Log Analyzer. Let's send some logs from SEM saying, hey, we've seen these 10 events, let's send one notification into our Orion server uh, as a trap. So that's what SEM is, very, very high level overview there, but the idea is we're focused on security. Of course, as I say, the devil's in the detail, right? So typically the first thing that people are going to jump onto when there's an issue or degradation or whatever is the log, right? So this allows them to really dig into what happened, where, when, and how, yeah? Exactly. And with this approach, you can take your logs, whether it's Windows, whether it's Linux, whether it's network devices, even application logs. You know, let's pick up changes from databases. Let's pick up uh, application logs or antivirus logs. Just pull them all into one view. And by making it very simple to drill down, very graphical interface, you can very quickly see what are the events related to each other. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Log Analyzer. So this is the product that's based on the Orion platform. And at a quick glance here, we're starting to see a similar look and feel. Now, if we look at the My Dashboards view, it's the log subview that's Log Analyzer. So we have our network performance monitor, our server and application monitor, other products are deployed here. But what we're seeing in this view is logs coming in, again, from different sources. So again, if we look at the log type, just to highlight, flat log files, syslogs, traps, VMware events, Windows events, all pulled into one console. Now, the difference with Log Analyzer is this is installed on your Orion server. This is using a SQL database in the back end. With SEM, it's a Linux virtual appliance. It's fully self-contained. It has its own database. But the advantage with this approach is we can already start to correlate information between other products. So now when I look to filter, I could say, hey, let's just see things that are coming from Cisco devices. Because we know within the database, hey, this IP address that we're receiving syslogs from, it's also the same IP address for, in this case, our firewall that we're monitoring with NPM, or our domain controller with SAM, or our vCenter with VMware. So it gives us a, an easy way to, to correlate across those various products. We'll also see, and this is a nice feature, when you look at a node details view in products like SAM, in uh, VMAN, in NPM, if we're receiving logs from that device, we'll give you an Analyze Logs button. So not, not only can I see what's the availability of all my ports, what's my CPU load, what's my memory usage, I can press this and it'll bring me into a view filtered based on that, that node name. When I look at an event here, and I'm just going to pick, a, in this case, firstly a Windows event. We can still see, when we click on it, all of the information for that event. But the difference here with SEM is we're not going to do that categorization. We're not going to say, hey, this is um, a logon event, or this is a, a web traffic event. However, we can put rules in place that will help us classify those. So in this case, we have a tag tagged as a Windows system event. So what we're saying in this case is we have a rule in place that's looking at the criteria of different events that are coming in. We can say, hey, if an event contains this information or is from this source, tag it as being a Windows system event. Tag it as being, in our case, you know, interface up or interface down events. Let's look at any authentication failure events. So very simple, we can start to take these rules and apply them across the various log types. So using tags within the system makes it very easy to filter as to what we're looking at. Now, one of the advantages with having Log Analyzer within the Orion platform is these rules and then also integrate in with the main Orion alerting engine. So the alerts are used for NPM, for SAM, for Virtualization Manager, for uh, Storage Resource Monitor. You can leverage those from here as well. Under the rules, again, we can define criteria. So in this case, A, 
if this message contains fan failure, do something. So in this example, we're going to add a tag that we just saw. And again, you can create your own. You can see some examples we ship. In our example here, we're also going to trigger this as an Orion alert. So now within the system, we can start to leverage actions like from NCM. We can say, hey, if this uh, type of event occurs, if we receive a syslog or trap containing this information, let's run an action from NCM. Maybe back up the device, maybe run a script to make a change. If we receive these Windows events, maybe we want to execute an external program like call a PowerShell script that's going to fix something. One of the nicest features about having Log Analyzer on the Orion platform is we can leverage it in Perfstack. So the view I have here is showing me CPU load, memory usage, response time for the switch we just saw a moment ago. What I've also added in, just to highlight where I got this from, under Node, I can see syslogs, I can see traps. So I can just drag and drop that onto the system, and now I can very quickly correlate, hey, if we see an increase in response time here, what syslogs do we see in that same time window? So now by taking that log data, putting it alongside our polled performance data, it makes it very easy to troubleshoot. You can save these as dashboards. You can obviously receive your, your VMware events here, your Windows events. Um, makes it easy to have all of your log data alongside your performance, uh, monitoring your fault monitoring data. Slightly different use cases. One is aimed at security. One is aimed at you know the sysadmin, the network admin, as opposed to the security engineer, with two very robust solutions for using logs within your environment. So, John, that's it on, on my side, on the demo side. Without going too deep, I could obviously spend a few hours at this, but... Absolutely, and there was just a quick question came in there in relation to uh, analyzing Windows events. Um, so, very simply, you just add that Windows server or virtual machine as a, as a node, right? And then you're good to go and collect Windows events from that point? Yeah, once the, the agent is applied, um, with Log Analyzer, you have the option to say, hey, the next time we receive an event, take a license, or automatically pick up licenses from these. So with the Windows events, we pick those up automatically. If you want to pick up flat log files, you basically just define a profile that would say, hey, check for any files that match this criteria in this location, and we'll be able to start picking those up um, pretty seamlessly. Cool stuff, cool. Okay, Michal, thanks very much for the, the demo of Security Event Manager and Log Analyzer there. Um, so I suppose it would make uh, a lot of sense if somebody has Log Analyzer to collect and analyze you know, events or logs from a certain node, that you would also apply Security Event Manager to the same node, because Log Analyzer can identify, hey, you think we've got an issue here, and then you can drill into Security Event Manager to really kind of dig into the details even in a lot more detail after that, yeah? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can even send events from one to the other as well. So you could say, you know, use NPM or use SAM to monitor a particular application type events, application metrics, for example, and say, okay, we have an issue from a performance perspective. It's not a security event, but we still want to keep track of it. So when that fires the alerting engine in Orion, to send a trap into SEM, for example, and vice versa. Yeah. We could say, look, we always have the Orion dashboard up uh, on screen for our network engineers. Uh, the security team may be using SEM more, but if we see some security events, maybe say, you know, not every event, but if we see 10 of these events, send one message into Orion so the network engineers something going on here that, that could be of interest. Exactly, exactly. So thanks, Michal. And of course, uh, we talked a lot about the product there, but there's also lots of things that customers get from our customer success program. And I'll just um, go through this fairly quickly, but the first thing you get is a customer portal. So you have access to your own uh, web console, essentially, 
outlining what licenses you have, what upgrades you're entitled to, and of course, as you know, I hope you know, all the product upgrades uh, that we bring from SolarWinds, as long as you're in maintenance or an active subscription, is free of charge. We don't charge for any product updates, even the .zero releases and so on. Um, you can also, of course, access support from here. You can log tickets. You can access uh, a lot of technical content in terms of uh, documentation or videos. You can also access the uh, SolarWinds Academy Training Center as well uh, and sign up for the uh, instructor-led classes or the e-learning classes. And if you're technical, you can go down the uh, SolarWinds uh, Certified Professional route and get your SCP badges as well, which are one of the top uh, uh, certifications in the industry. Um, so you can access the Success Center, and here we've got over 20,000 articles, uh, e-learning opportunities, and how-to videos, etc. Uh, a great resource area. Um, for uh, if you want to get value out of the product very very quickly, uh, obviously you know we design our products to kind of be installed quickly and get you up and running very quickly. But you can also take advantage of SolarWinds Smart Start, which is essentially the purchase of a number of hours of engineering support to help you get the product uh, installed, you know, do initial configurations, maybe do an initial poll, for example, uh, and get you up and running. So we, we really want you to get value out of the product as soon as you possibly can uh, and get, uh, get, get things going. This is also available through our global channel partners, uh, and uh, they can work with us in that regard, or a lot of them have their own kind of smart start programs as well, locally as well. I mentioned the SCP, the Solar and Certified Professional. You can do that now in eight different categories. You have Network Performance Monitor, NetFlow Traffic Analyzer, Network Configuration Manager, uh, Server and Application Monitor, Access Rights Manager, Database Performance Analyzer in beta format right now. And then we also have two of the kind of more Orion type platform uh, certifications for design and diagnostics or diagnosis, as we call it. Um, so if you're technical and you want to get your, your certifications, uh, you can do that through the Solomon's Academy. We've already mentioned the TWAC online community. I said over 150,000 registered members. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be a customer or a partner to join this. Anybody in IT industry can jump on and become a registered member of TWAC. Great place to ask questions, get answers, get information, uh, and provide feedback into SolarWinds directly as well. Uh, we also, of course, our support uh, capabilities. Um, we have kind of three different levels of support now. So professional support is what you get with your, your license purchase or your subscription purchase. Um, and then if you want to kind of enhance services in certain areas, you have your Premier Support and Premier Enterprise, which is Premier Enterprise is typically designed for the much larger type organizations out there. So with that, um, SolarWinds, you know, we've got a couple of mantras that we like to continue to repeat. Uh, first of all is ease of use. We want to make sure that our products are designed, as I said, to get installed quickly, get you value quickly, get you up and running quickly. But they're also scalable, you know, from kind of a few nodes up to many thousands of nodes. And even on the Orion platform now, we've announced new scalability of up to 1 million network elements in a single instance and up to 550,000 application components in a single instance as well. So real, real enterprise scalability. At the same time, if somebody in SMB or a mid-sized organization purchases a license for networking, for example, to monitor 100 elements, you get exactly the same functionality. There's no difference in the product whatsoever, um, which is cool. Uh, obviously, you can take kind of three different approaches with SolarWinds. The first thing is fix a problem. You've got a log analysis issue. You want to put in a, uh, an affordable SIEM license on nodes, for example. Then you can go along and you can purchase Log Analyzer. You can purchase Security Event Manager, and we'll get you up and running very quickly on that. Um, as you go forward, of course, you may want to integrate more products into a kind of a platform approach and have a single pane of glass as much as possible to get all of those scalability benefits uh, and also the economies of scale as well, of course. Um, and then, of course, the third level, you may want to look at kind of strategic approaches to IT operations management for the full stack visibility using our comprehensive uh, portfolio. Um, so with that, uh, thank you very much indeed for your time today. We do appreciate it. Um, we have many, many more uh, webcasts. Typically, we're doing uh, one a week for uh, customers and uh, future customers out there. Um, so we look forward to uh, meeting and talking with you again in the not too distant future. Special thanks to Michal for going through the demos. Thank you, Michal. Really appreciate your time today uh, for the comprehensive demos of Security Event Manager and Log Analyzer. Um, so with that, you know, thanks, John. enjoy the weather now. Nice blue skies today. And also a big thanks to Gronya Lee, who's in the background there moderating us, making sure we're all under control and on time. So thank you, Gronya. Take care, everybody. Have a good day, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.